What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to buy your coins and make your team even better, go to the website and type the code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase. Also, if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go to the same website under the Self Foot 23 coin section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys, and today... We're going to go ahead and review 90 rated team of the season moments Moises Caicedo. We picked him up from the level 15 from the season rewards. And we're looking at a card that's 510, high, high work rates, right foot, double three star on the skill moves and weak foot, unfortunately. But the stats on the card looking absolutely insane. 90 pace, 81 shooting, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 89 defending, 90 physicality, no shooting or any traits in game. For the purpose of today's video, since we are next gen on my account, we're gonna give this card the anchor chemistry style because he cannot get lengthy. So, which means we wanna bring up the acceleration to 96, sprint speed to 92. Defending gets maxed out if not to the high 90s, and the physicality goes up to the 90s, which is good. 94 aggression with 92 strength, looking absolutely insane. Uh, Moises Castell is gonna be playing with this team right here. And he's going to be playing on a 4-3-2-1. And we're going to be using this card as a center mid, as a box-to-box -box midfielder, right next to Park Ji Sung. Or am I might put in that Vieira? I'll have to see. But the reason I picked this card, number one, obviously, if you guys don't know, I am part of Ecuador and my whole family is from Ecuador. I was born in America. But obviously, the card actually looks pretty decent stats-wise. He has everything 80+. plus. The thing is, double three, right? And is that going to be a major liability to the point where the card's not going to be not going to be that effective? That meta is the main question. We're going to play some games in Elite Division, as you guys can see. And hopefully, if you guys are deciding whether to pick up this Kaisela or not, we're going to see the true verdict right now. All right, here we go with game number one versus Galacticos. Let's see what type of team he got. A really good back line, a really good midfield, and a decent attack as expected because we are in elite division, so. It's a good try from Casado. Nice tackle, okay. That was a quick interception right there. That's a great pass right there. Great pass from Casado. Nice job intercepting that. Nice job, okay, that was fire. The way he took the ball away from Cantona there. Casado, oof, with the nice finish inside the box. Let's go, yeah, boys. That was good. That was good. That's a decent pass with the weak foot. Back to back good finishes from the car, man. He, he finishing pretty consistently. Things you love to see. We're gonna try to find Moises inside, inside pass right here. That to Jarzinho and that's an assist. Great pass right there. It's gonna be a rage quit. Good start to the video, man. We're going to the next game right now. Great pass to Croy. That was a great pass. We couldn't score, unfortunately. It's a good pass. Man, Castell can finish, unfortunately. Unlucky, man. That would have been another assist. That's an assist. We do take that. We 
for a layoff to Garincha. What a layoff. And that's another assist from Cancelo. Let's go, man. Two assists in quick successions. Some good list of turning from Caicedo, leaning to the assist for Cruyff. We'd love to see that. Oof, nice tackle right there. Nice interception from the card. Caicedo, what a finish. Let's go. It's going to be a rage quit. We're going to the next game right now. Oof. Body, team of the year, Bellingham right here. Body's Lucio still has the ball. That's some good stuff from Caicedo. Nice job getting there last second. Nice job getting the ball back. Great turn, man. Great composure to stay onto the ball. That's absolutely fire. All right, guys, and that concludes the player read for Team of the Season moment. Moises Caicedo coming around free, obviously, because you can unlock him from the season rewards. Uh, level 15, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir, level 15. Now, comparing this 90 rated Team of the Season to the 70. Eight. Now, I'll do the 70 silver card because the 78, you can use that card, I believe, at this stage of the game. He hasn't had a special card this year, but his silver card, he had a plus 17 on the pace, a plus 20 on the shooting, plus 19 on the passing, plus 21 on the physicality, plus 18 on the dribbling and defending, man. Those are some really nice and noticeable boosts from bringing that 70 rated to this now 90 rated team this season moment. Uh, my experience with this Moises Caicedo card was pretty decent, obviously. I'm going to go into the things I liked about the card and some things I didn't like about the card. So number one, the work rates. The work rates work very well for the card, excuse me, because he's 5'10 with that pace. High, high work rates for a midfielder I like a lot, especially if you want to play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, which I think you could play for this card, but I'm going to go into that a little bit later on. Um, pace obviously is a huge pro from the card. He's very quick with and without the ball. 90 pace, 92 acceleration. He's just everywhere in the pitch with those high, high work rates, man. Similar to like Conte, you know, 90 pace. You know, you, you get that Conte vibe from this Caicedo, you know. 5'10 is obviously not short, but it's also not, not really that tall. So you get those Conte vibes, and he's just all over the pitch. Now, another pro I did like from the card is the dribbling, man. He feels very good on the dribbling, left stick dribbling. Um, step over animations look really solid. Um, 88 agility, 95 balance, 90 ball control, 84 dribbling. Um, he felt pretty solid, you know. I do like that a lot. Um, 99 stamina, big pro from the car right there. He's going to last you the whole game pretty much, even into extra time because he has 99 stamina, obviously. So it's pretty self explanatory. Now, uh, defending, oof, defending is something that I did like a lot about the car, man. 92 interceptions with 90 defensive awareness. 92 stand tackling overall the defensive performance of this card was exceptional man he was all over the pitch defensively uh he got a lot of interceptions his position his positioning on the pitch defensively was very very good as well so i do like that a lot from the card now um shooting um he has 76 finishing 86 tag finishing um his finishing is pretty good he did have three goals and three games i'm not gonna say it's top tier but it's pretty solid for somebody that only has 76 in this finishing category so if you do want to attack with this card he will finish i want to say majority of the times there's going to be some instances where it's going to be a little bit of a liability and i get into that just right now but there's something i didn't like about the card and i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about is a double three star combination specifically with the three star skill moves listen we're into team of the season now we need the big boy cards and Casado, he got the stats for it but the double three is just a massive massive downgrade or a massive hurt from the card from potential being top 10 man he has the stats to be top 10 he performed very well in game even with the double three combination and i'm actually a little disappointed because if he had at least four star skill moves man he had a shout. He definitely had a shout, but with a double three, he's obviously not temp, not top 10 material. He's still a very good card, don't get me wrong. But double three, more 
alongside the three star skill moves is just a major hurt from the card in my opinion um physicality wise very good from the card he wins most tackles so i do like that as another pro from the card overall like i said earlier great experience with the card it's up to you guys if you guys want to get unlock this card from the level 15 season swaps uh season rewards excuse me um if you guys are missing like a really solid midfielder from the primary overall a really solid midfielder that's gonna get you a lot of defensive stops contributing the attack obviously not not like a sedan or holly but like he's gonna contribute with the playmaking because he got four assists obviously he could definitely pass easily um shoot here and there three goals in three games if you guys need a solid midfielder you guys run like an rtg or that type of stuff go ahead and unlock this casello he definitely will put in some work for you if you guys have already like a hullet sedan kdb um marquisio viera pogba those type in kunku go ahead and skip out on moises casello just go ahead and take the father but if you're somebody like me you know part ecuadorian sentimental value right here for this card i'm gonna go ahead and use casello probably for the next upcoming weekend he's definitely a solid card in my opinion so up to you guys if you guys need a decent midfielder that's gonna get the job done go ahead and get him if not let's go ahead and take the father it's no sweat um get the thumbs up for me definitely usable at this stage of the game and rating wise for team of the season moments moises casella is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10 like i said before then he was really really good only thing hurting him from potential being a nine or higher is the combination of the double three which is kind of massive you know because everything else is amazing from the card absolutely amazing just the double three hurts us so thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing uh the next player review excuse me the next video i'm gonna drop it's not going to be the elite division highlights i'm gonna save that for next week for the bundesliga team of the season uh the next video i will be dropping will be a bundesliga team of the year team of the season review um i don't know if it's going to be in kunku spc maybe a team of the season in bellingham it's going to be something along those lines I'll try my best to review as much Team of the Season players from Bundesliga because, as you guys know, Bundesliga is not exactly the most popping league when it comes to Team of the Season. But like I said before, I will try my best depending how good the boosts are from those cards. So, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. Thank you guys once again, and I'm out. Bye-bye.